Hello, I'm sure like me you have devices and electronics around your house that you wish you could hook up to your smart home. In this video I'm going to show you how to hook up pretty much anything to your smart home. Um, in this video, my example is going to be my projector screen here, which I will show to you. Works like this. Alexa, projector screen down. Alexa, projector screen down. Alexa, projector screen stop. Alexa, projector screen up. Recently, I did a tutorial on how to combine all of your IR remotes in one simple device that had smart home capabilities. This device utilized an Alexa skill called Synric Pro to mimic a smart TV. Synric Pro now has the ability to create your own custom devices with their own features and functions that can allow us to create our own custom devices. For this video, I'm going to use my projector screen as my custom device that I'm creating. For this, we will need an ESP32 or equivalent such as the ESP8266, the RF modules, and this is the transmitter, and this is the receiver. They are extremely simple to wire up. Uh, this is roughly what we will be doing. This is the diagram of the circuit that we'll be creating. There's simply one pinout from each module which will send data to and fro the ESP32. So firstly, I'm just creating the two power lines, connecting the 5 volt out from the board and the ground out from the board to create the plus and minus. Next, we just need to simply hook up each module to the power lines. So the transmitter has three pins. Uh, the first pin is the data pin. The second pin is the voltage in and the third is the ground line. The receiver has four pins. However, we are only using three. Uh, the first pin is the voltage in, the second pin is the data, the third pin is also the data which you can use either or, and the fourth pin is the ground line. Some of the pins on the ESP32 will not support the RF modules. What I have found is that pin 12 and 14 definitely does, so you can always use these. Once you have created your account with Synric Pro, you will need to create a device template. This is a new tool in Synric Pro that allows you to easily create a custom device with bespoke functionality, giving you the opportunity to automate pretty much anything and everything in and around the house. Click on device templates, add a new device template, give it a name, description, and device type. I just put other, this doesn't really matter at all what type you pick. Next we are going to assign some capabilities we want the device to have. This is the exciting bit that allows you to add a lot of customization to your device. As my projector has three modes, up, down and stop, I'm going to assign the mode capability. As you can see from the extensive list here, the possibilities really are endless. You can leave the instance ID, set the locale to the same locale as your Alexa, a mode name, this can be anything, a mode values. I need up, down and stop as this is what my projector does um, and save this. Next we go into Devices, Add Device, just put in the device name, and the description, the device type, now we're going to go for our device type that we've just created, that's projector screen, and then next, next again we can skip this, this is timer settings, which we won't need. Once you have created your device, you will see it listed in your devices. Mine's at the bottom here, projector screen. If you click on the code generator, this will then generate the code that you will need to upload to your device, uh, ESP32 in my case, from 
Arduino. This will then save as a zip folder, which you can then extract and then proceed to open up the sketch file in Arduino. Now, before we jump into Arduino, you want to make sure that you have all the boards installed and updated, as well as the appropriate libraries and the dependencies. If you have never done a project in Arduino before, uh, using ESP32 or 8266 or Synric Pro, please watch this tutorial on, on how to download these libraries from a previous video of mine. So assuming you have downloaded these libraries, let's crack on. The downloaded library in the zip folder contains information about the functions of your device. If you attempt to compile the code straight away, you will get an error. This is something I had a little trouble with, uh, getting the library to go into the sketch. So these next steps are important. You'll need to move this library from the zip folder into your Synric Pro library folder. Mine is in my documents, Arduino, Libraries, Synric Pro. I copied my file here. You will then need to go back into the code. You will then need to go back into Arduino and find the library where the library is included and delete out the space if there is a space in your library name or else it won't recognize the library. You might also need to change out the square brackets into quotation marks. For the next part, we are going to add the RF capabilities as my projector screen takes RF commands from a small RF remote. This remote is 433 megahertz, which is a very common frequency for RF. Firstly, we are going to need to read the signals that our small remote actually emits. In order to get these signals into our sketch, we are going to need to download an RF library. The RF library we are using in this sketch is called RC Switch. So we're going to find this in our library manager. And we're just going to type in, in the library manager, RC Switch. which we're then going to find and just download like any old library. Once we have downloaded this library, we're going to open an example sketch from the library called Receiver Demo Simple. We can utilize this sketch to find out the RF codes coming from our remote. You'll need to change this number to the pin that you're using for the receiver. And then we can open up the serial monitor once we've uploaded the sketch and simply press the button on our remote, which is then going to show us in the serial monitor the codes that we will need and the bit. And this is simply the line of code which you would use to then send out a RF signal from our sketch. So make a note of these numbers. On your device, on the Alexa app, you will need to download the Simric Pro skill, which is located in Skills and Games. You just simply type in Simric Pro. And once you have found this skill, you will just simply need to enable it and log into Simric Pro via your Alexa app. As well as the voice commands showcased at the start of this video, you can also control the device straight from the Alexa app. As you can see here, I can select all three modes of the projector screen, up, down, and stop. Thank you so much for watching my video. In my next few videos that are coming up, I'm going to be using Alexa's custom device templates more often to hopefully create some other crazy things. I'm thinking some garden lights, perhaps. Join me next time. Thank you very much, and like and subscribe to my stuff. Cheers!